Hello and welcome to the EOBoard application video. Here we will be covering some of the basic features of the calendar. Okay, let's get started. We are going to cover some of the basic features of the calendar. Now the EOBoard calendar is a tool that specifies future statuses. It also allows you to create a company calendar, which basically is a view of multiple people's calendars all at once. Now on the general calendar, you can see here that I have a couple future events. Uh, you can see on the 15th I have a meeting scheduled. You can see here on the 17th I have two meetings scheduled. Uh, also on the 23rd I have a meeting scheduled at 9 um, that was scheduled by the resource manager which we will talk about later on. And you can see that each event uh, that we schedule has an icon and it designates exactly uh, what was scheduled. Um, if it was an Outlook uh, event, it would have an Outlook icon. If it was an EOBoard event that uh, was scheduled, it was an EOBoard icon. Also, the resource manager has an icon. Now, at any time, you can create an event. Say you need to step out of the office for an hour, and you know you're going to be gone for at least an hour. You can select the length of time, you can type in um, outrunning errands. Now you can quickly hit enter and it will change your status from 9 to 10 out. Now if you wanted to change and go into more of the detail you just double click the event and the update status window will appear. And from the update status window you can change the event you can say that uh, I'm in or working off-site you can say uh, you're at a customer's location you can choose to synchronize to Outlook now this allows you to sync all your events in the EOBoard calendar to Outlook and vice versa so all of your Outlook uh, calendar events will be synced to EOBoard uh, you can specify comments um, you can do auto return status, um, all the nice things that you can do uh, when you update your status. Now the Outlook Sync feature has some options. One of them is the manual sync. What the manual sync option allows you to do is pull all of your Outlook events to the EOBoard calendar. You can map each one of the events to a given status in EOBoard. And remember that each one of these statuses is configurable. So say I have a doctor's appointment on Monday and knowing that the appointment only takes one hour I can choose the out option and an auto status of one hour and my status will be in once the appointment is is done. Now for this one I have a meeting with uh, John to review some project specifications um, I show that uh, at that specified time at 9 I will be in a meeting uh, and I will not know exactly how long the meeting is so I'm not going to set an auto return status. Now on this last one it shows that uh, I'm going to Madison to install updates for OS. Uh, you can see that uh, I've chose the uh, customer location and also kept the auto status option um, unchecked. Um, now that uh, you have selected all the events that you'd like to sync, you click the OK button and you can see that uh, all your statuses um, and events um, have been added to the EOBoard calendar. So you can see it is a really simple way to add events, appointments, and to sync to your Outlook calendar. It's also a very similar feel to the Outlook calendar. Now in addition to the view I'm currently looking at, you also have the views of a work week, a week, a month, timeline, and a list. Now the work week specifies the work week itself without weekends. The week includes the weekends on it. The month shows you a month view of your calendar. The timeline shows you a timeline um, from start to finish. And the list view shows a list of all the uh, events that you have in chronological order. Now what the month view gives you 
is an ability to see all your events um, within the month and you can easily drill down to each one of the specific days or you can add quickly add events um, to a specific day so you can go to this day and you can quickly see that you have two events um, for that day now the list view allows you to see all of your events for a specific period of time in chronological order uh, you can drill down into any of the specific events and you can edit or delete them. The last thing on the calendar is the feature we call the company calendar. It is a calendar view that you can create either personal ones or as an administrator you can create global calendars. Both calendars allows you to see into certain groups that you designate. Let's take the sales group for instance you can see here that in the sales group there are certain users and um, if you choose the sales group from the drop down menu and we'll go to the month view you can see that uh, the users within the sales group now show up all their events um, on the calendar and you can drill down to this day and you can see that um, Steve um, has an event at uh, 11:30, and uh, I have an event um, almost the same time. What this allows you to do is you can see multiple people in certain groups um, and view their calendars at one time. Now if you are coordinating multiple schedules you can enable users to add these events to what is called the company calendar. But you can see there's an option in the update status window ultimately this allows users the ability to view into all the events on a global scale. Now this concludes the overview of the EOBoard calendar. Once again, thanks for taking the time to view one of our EOBoard videos. If you would like some further information on our product, please go to www.eoboard.com.